So over the weekend, I got this email from a reader. Um, this is actually a comment on my post from a few months back uh, called Dismantling the Dad Bod. And in this post, I talk about all the problems with culturally accepting the idea of the dad bod. Nothing really groundbreaking, but just kind of my take on it. And uh, this commenter leaves me quite a long post or quite a long comment about how he, uh, he agrees with the fact that I condemn it to ideas of laziness or uh, lack of motivation or other problems. And then he goes on to say, but he takes umbrage with the fact that we even idealize these other bodies. Um, tells me a little bit about his story and how he has a few kids and he's got uh, diabetes. He said genetic diabetes, so I assume that's type 1 instead of type 2. And how he works 60 hours a week and he spends time with his kids and he does all these different things. And so that prevents him from being able to get into the kind of shape that he likes. He's disciplined about his diet and he's good about his workouts, but he just can't. He just can't get into the shape he wants to be in. I got this guy coming up behind me. And, uh, and as a result, he says that he shouldn't feel ashamed about the fact that he doesn't have a, a ripped six pack and that he does and he hates it. It's people like me who make him hate his body and make him hate the way that he looks. Um, so the first thing I would say to that is good on you for doing everything that you're doing. Uh, that is absolutely the antithesis of what the dad bot is. And uh, just by mere virtue of trying to do what you're doing, um, you're overcoming that whole stigma. The second thing that I would tell him is just because a few individuals, because of specific circumstances, can't reach the ideal doesn't mean that we have to change what the ideal is or what it's perceived to be. I think that's one of the biggest problems with where we are right now is that we feel like as individuals, if the, the ideal is unattainable, then it's unfair that that's even portrayed as the ideal and that shouldn't be the case. Um, I actually have a lot of sympathy for this guy. So as you guys who have been reading my site know, uh, for the last almost two years, I've been working really hard on trying to get into better shape and get my body into a better condition and I haven't posted a whole lot about it this past year because I haven't made the progress I'd like to see. Um, I found out that I have some hormonal things that make it a little bit difficult for me to uh, put on muscle and to lose fat and then I also uh, just found out a couple of weeks ago that uh, I have a herniated disc in my back. Something that I did more than two years ago and I periodically re-aggravate it because I don't want to go to the doctor and I just figure I'm still 16 and it's going to go away. Uh, but I'm not still 16 and I don't live in a way where I can just, I don't know, slap a brace on a broken collarbone without going to see a doctor and just know that I have to lay off of it for six weeks. It's unfortunately not the way my body works anymore even though it used to in the past. Anyway, so I can't even, I haven't been able to go to the gym for a Five weeks, six weeks since last time I hurt my back. So uh, you do your best to work around it. I mean, right now I'm. It's uh, about 7:30 in the morning. I'm walking from my place over to a playground that's relatively close here to go do some body weight exercises. A lot of stuff that I uh, can do with a herniated disc, uh, and it's frustrating because I don't feel like I get to make any make any improvements in the areas that I've been working on for so long. I still don't have the six pack I was hoping for. I still don't have the perfectly capped shoulders I was hoping for and all that stuff. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I resent the ideal, that I stop following all the fitness guys that I follow on Instagram, or that I stop uh, talking to my friends who are very fitness motivated just because I all of a sudden can't maintain this ideal that, uh, that I had sought after before. So, what I would tell Tafu, I think that's his name, that's how he pronounces it, is get over this idea that just because you in legitimately exceptional circumstances can't attain the ideal, that the ideal needs to change because that's really kind of arrogant and prideful. And two, don't, don't worry about the fact that 
you're perceived as lazy or inept or anything else because you're not actually attaining that ideal because you're not. As long as you're moving forward, as long as you're continuing to do all the things that you're doing and you've said that you are, as long as you're being really disciplined about your diet, working out, doing all those things, then so what? You just keep doing what you're doing and you may not feel great about your body, but the onus of that is on you because I don't absolutely love where I am, uh, but when I see pictures of where I was two years ago or even a year ago, I'm still pretty dang proud of it. So good luck on that.